Good afternoon friends and welcome to my channel Evolving One Step at a Time. This is the first video of um, me speaking about how I was able to get out of debt um, within about two years. Um, in this one I am going to speak about reducing the money that was going out of the household. Um, everything that I did in my debt free journey was a slow process as far as I'm one that if I try to make too many changes all at once I will get frustrated and I will stop them all so um, in the beginning I really wasn't even thinking big picture let's get out of debt I was thinking okay this is the money that we have coming in these are the bills that we have how am I gonna make it work okay so one of the first things that I did was I uh, did a lot of research as far as couponing. Now this is not for everyone, but I had an infant, she was about six weeks old, um, and we had a lot of new expenditures as far as I needed to keep diapers on this little one, I needed to feed this little one. Now, I did breastfeed, but in the beginning, it was very hard for her to adjust to that. And they freaked me out in the hospital, so I started doing some formula. Um, but as time progressed, she became more of a breastfed child, and she would take formula on occasions when um, she was with someone else mostly because I had a hard time pumping. So, that was one expenditure that we didn't have to worry too much about, but in the big scheme of, scheme of things, that was a major thing. Um, so one of the things that I did is I needed to learn how to coupon and I needed to learn about sales cycles because when I looked at the money that was going out, we spent a great amount of money now this was um, before we moved back to Virginia. So when we were still in Texas, that was the money that I was looking at. We spent a lot of money on eating out. I would go to the grocery store. I was never one to plan, so I would just pick up all kinds of different items, a lot of junk food, things that I thought I might cook, <laughs> a lot of things that I didn't end up cooking. So. As far as reducing how much was going out, I knew that um, grocery shopping and cooking at home was going to be major, and I also needed to get um, things that I needed, such as laundry detergent, diapers, um, household goods. I needed to figure out a way to get them less expensively, okay? So one of the things that I was able to find online was Southern Savers. Now I am blessed with a job that I can do a lot of different research and things like that while I'm at work because my main function is just to make sure that everything's okay in the office and if things do come up that I take care of them. So during those times that I don't have a lot going on, then I was online and I was researching things. I learned about southernsavers.com and I still use them some today, but they have a YouTube channel and they do, um, the young lady, Jenny, she does, um, I think it's weekly. She tries to do weekly um, live video chats. Of course, when she did them, I wasn't at work, so I would watch them on YouTube when they came back. Um, where you can watch them later on, but I learned a lot from her in regards to sales cycles, being able to stock up on groceries when things were priced at their rock bottom point, however, not trying to clear the shelves because you know that within a certain amount of time, those items would come on sale again. That was a huge aha moment for me. Because when you have limited amount of funds, you can't go out and buy 
a year's worth of something because then that's all you have. <laughs> so, um, learned about that, learned about Aldi. Uh, definitely that was a huge um, transition for me in the beginning because I was so used to shopping at other grocery stores. However, now it's second nature to me. But really and truthfully, I was able to get so much more for less. Um, so those were the three things that I began with. Doing research on southernsavers.com, learning about sales cycles, um, learning how to coupon for household goods, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that greatly helped my grocery budget and my household budget, bringing those in line. Um, let's see what else. Oh, over the past two, well, not these past two years, but over the two year period that we were trying to get out of debt, um, several times I was able to get our bills decreased and it wasn't all in the beginning but some of the things I did in the beginning is that when we came back we had a very large cell phone bill um, I had a smartphone uh, my mother had a smartphone which she paid back that portion so that really didn't matter and then Matthew he didn't have a smartphone it was a reasonable rate but all together I think that just for me and him we were spending about ninety dollars and when I called it was AT&T that I was with very pleased with them must say still use them but at the time it was just out of our budget I called them my smartphone was still under contract so of course you would have that huge disconnection fee but the young lady that I spoke to was so nice and she explained to me that even though I was still under contract, if I wanted to, I could do something that they call suspend service and there would still be a $10 a month charge, but the phone wouldn't be active at all. Now this is not for everyone, but it really worked for my situation because the amount that I would have paid um, to cancel the contract was just crazy. Um, I was able to get another type of phone and I think I spent about 10 to 15 dollars a month and if you add it on the 10 dollar suspension fee I was still in the good because I think just for my phone itself was about 50 dollars a month and that broke uh, brought it down to $25 a month with the suspension fee and the new the new plan so that was an extra $25 that I was able to do so that was another step just going through my bills uh, calling the cable company and saying uh-uh I can't afford this I'm gonna have to cancel they would reduce the rates we didn't get internet until the beginning of this year the entire time we were getting out of debt, that was not a need. That was a want. Now, you could say that cable TV isn't good as well, and I agree. However, I was able to get that bill down to a reasonable amount, and that was our only form of entertainment outside of Redbox, which I was able to get all of those movies for free, and still do. Um, so, it was good for us and we even research going um, without a TV but using the internet and in my area the providers that are available are few and far in between it would have cost more for our internet and any other services we would have had to purchase in order to use the internet as our only source of entertainment than it did for us with our inexpensive cable because we had the basic basic I think we had maybe 30 30 maybe 40 channels and in the bedroom for a while the only channel I think we hit maybe 15 channels in the bedroom which was fine 
Um, that's what we would watch. Well, what I would watch when I wasn't sleeping when I was pregnant <laughs> with baby girl. Um, but that was a huge thing. Um, so, yeah, that was the first step as far as getting out of debt is reducing the amount of money that was going out of the house. I would say that transition period for me was about, because it started before I would say that I was on my debt-free journey, but it was truly the first step. So I would say I was in that mode for about four to six months. And I got to the point where I was very, very comfortable and very confident in that part that I was doing as far as grocery shopping, cooking at home. That was a huge, huge transition for me. Uh, but got really, hold on one second. Got really good at doing that. Um, so that was a huge help. And um, got to see the um, positive effects on the amount of money that was going out of the house decreasing. So that was the first step. Got that up under my belt. Felt comfortable with that transition. And then I moved on to other things, which I'll talk to you in another video. Now, if you have any questions about what I talked about today, please put it in the comments below. Um, we're going through a little transition in the family right now <laughs> and it's a little bit stressful so i will say i don't respond as quickly as i had in the past but i promise you within a week i will respond um if you like this video video <laughs> if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'm looking forward to having a conversation below with you and also short, um, sharing some more information at a later date. But thanks so much for watching, and y'all have a blessed day.